is the Hannes Redlinghuis of the First Assembly of Yafashua in South Africa, Pretoria, Montana. Should you require any of the books which I've written, or maybe the restoration of the original Sacred Name Bible, the Rotten Arm Version, please contact us at 0722-367-124. That is on the international code, our watch app, plus 27. Go to my website, https double point hyphen yafa yah vah point co point za also don't miss the uh, tiktok messages studies every day three minutes on the dot impressive research material Please send the link of the TikTok also to your friends and family. If this is the first time that you are participating in the study, Demons and Angels, I would urge you to go to part one and start from the beginning. Otherwise, you would have missed quite a bit of information. It's also very important to subscribe to the channel to be able to receive the notifications <coughs> of all the other studies and it is free. Share this link with your friends and family and make sure that you have your 1611 King James Bible pen and paper ready for notes. I trust that this study today will be a blessing unto you in the precious name of Yahweh, our Redeemer and Savior. Welcome to Breakfast with Prof. Honest. Hallelujah. Now we're going to look at Satan and his demonic angels have limitations. Does Satan and his demonic angels have has limitations. What do you say? Satan and demons are powerful spirits. Satan's and demon are powerful spirits. And we, as part of the bride of Yahweh, must never underestimate this. This is a biblical truth. But they are not omnipresent listen to the three different positions they are powerful spirits but they are not omnipresent too or omniscient or omnipotent regarding omnipresent which means he can dwell he can dwell and he can be in different places. He's omnipresent. Like the Ruach HaKodesh is omnipresent. It fills the whole earth. It fills the heavens and the earth. The Father, the Son and the Ruach Kodesh. They are omnipresent. Means they are present 24-7. Now the same with Satan. He's the, he's the father of the demon spirits. And the evil spirits. And they are omnipresent. They can be any place, any time, when they want to. So that's one of the cater of the cataracts. Uh, they can they can do what they want to a limit. Being omnipresent. He says that they can they can move around they're not obtained in one place and that's why how is it possible to lock a spirit with a chain especially when you look at Revelation uh, 20 verse 1 and 2 where it says Satan was locked up with a big chain tied with a big chain you see, it's figurative speech because they spirit. A chain is something with holes in it. You can't. We can be tied up with chains. But a spirit you can't because it pops out anywhere on the holes with the links. You've got links. Between the links they can pop out. You see, if we only use our minds. So, regarding omnipresence, he can dwell and be in different places. Demons can leave a man and enter a peak. So he's got the ability to leave a man and enter a peak. 
what a place to stay. That scripture is Mark 5 verse 13. Mark 5 verse 13. Regarding omniscience, omniscience meaning all-knowing. Yafa, Yafashua and the Ruach HaKodesh are all-knowing. But Satan and his angels, we can safely summarize our fallen angels also, do not know, they do not know the day and the hour of the return of the Son of Man. Say so they don't know everything. Matthew 24, 36 says that Satan and his fallen angels does not know the hour of the return, the hour and the day of the return of man. But we as bride do. Oh, he's going to come like a fifth in the night. No, no, no. For the drunkard and the prostitutes, he will come like a fifth in the night. But for the bride, the yafist, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Go read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. The scripture just comes out. He says, He will come like a thief in the night. And the very next verse says, You know when He will return. Go and study the scripture. So, the uh, fallen angels are not om omniscient. They can't see further than what their noses are long. If I can... Just make a joke about it. Regarding omnipotence, it means they do not have all the power. They have certain powers. Satan, fallen angels, demons, evil spirits. No angels rule or power can turn the bride of Yahushua from the love of Yahushua. No angel, ruler, or power can turn us as your first from the love of Yahushua. Romans 8, 38. They do not have all the power. Instead, they cannot even enter a Yafis life. Why? Because our souls dimension are saturated with the power of the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit. And we don't leave no door open for any demonic power just to enter, walk in and walk out and do as I like and go shopping and coming back. Nothing like that. We rebuke it in the name of Yahushua. When we sense the smell or the look of a demon or the thought of a demon, we immediately rebuke it in the name of Yahushua. Note in some Christian circles, devilish power, knowledge and presence are inflated. People make more of the evil spirit than which is really needed. Certain churches makes more of Satan than what is really needed. You get some of these mega churches. Every service they cast out demons. And they must have a bucket where they can vomit. That's the sign for a demon coming out of a... That's not scriptural. I don't find one scripture in the Bible where anybody ever had to vomit to release a, a demon spirit. Yahweh Shua just walked, coming, walking on, and he just said to the evil spirit, Go! Can we go in the pigs? Yeah, go just where you like. Go! Now! And they flee. Have you come before the time to judge us? Just go. So what happens? You get a lot of, especially among the Protestants and the Charismats, they inflate the power of Satan for their own, uh, for their own purposes very much. The diabolic aim is to be worshipped. The diabolic aim of Satan and his evil spirits is to be worshipped. That's why he was cast out of heaven. I'm talking about Lucifer before he came, became Satan. That's why in all my Bibles that if it's a capital S, I make it a small s. In all my books I'm writing, small s. It has been said that the word says to us, conform of me. Now listen here. The diabolic aim is to be worshipped, Satan. It has been said that the word says to us, conform to me. 
The flesh says to us, satisfy me. And the devil say to us, worship me. Alright, it's very interesting. I'm going to give the three uh, positions. It has been said that the word says to us, conform to me. The flesh says to us, satisfy me uh, with sin. And the devil says to us, you just worship me. That's what Satan wants. He wants to be worshipped. He wants to be God. He wants to be Yaffa or Elohim. There is, a public, there is biblical evidence to support each of these respected the last idea of the three. The devil's tempting of Yafashua in the wilderness climaxed with the invasion. Matthew 4 verse 8 and 9. Matthew 4 verse 8 and 9. Again, the devil took him. Now in your 1611 King James Bible, just look at that hymn. It's a, it's a, it's a small letter hymn. Referring to Yafashua, make that a capital letter. And the devil took him, Yafashua, to a very high mount and showed him, that's him, a small letter, make it a capital letter, all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, make it a capital letter, Yafashua, all the things I will give you, if you will, now that you, I will make a capital you, if you, capital letter you, will fall down and worship me. That's what Satan does. He wants us to worship him. And that's what the worldly people does. Being on drugs on a high, being alcohol on a high, being sin, prostitution, pornographic, and it's all worshiping Satan in different ways. This appears to be the devil's ultimate motivation, the desire to be worshipped, but to do so in idolatry is worshipping the creature rather than the creator. In idolatry is worshipping the creature rather than the creator. Romans 1 verse 24 to 25. Romans 1 24 25. We worship Yafa, Shua our Elohim, Yafa our Father. Through the Ruach HaKodesh. Hallelujah. Alright, there are two important diabolic lies. The devil is a deceiver. Make your note. The devil is a deceiver. Revelation 12, 9. The Apostle Paul warns the Corinthians that the devil can disguise himself as an angel of light. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen. He disguised him as the angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11, 14. Apostle Paul writes about the danger of false teachers who disguise themselves as apostles of Yafashua. It's a Satan, man. 2 Corinthians 11, verse 13. 2 Corinthians 11, 13. These deceitful worksmen are agents of the great deceiver, Satan. False teachings. False, false gospels, false teachers still persist and trouble the churches. This may be peculiar so in the West, especially in the Western world, in the Western society. The devil used people to preach a lie as if it is the truth. However, there is another lie. That is not suit, uh, uh, subtle to all. It shows itself in persecution. Apostle Paul used a startling metaphor in proclaiming the devil, uh, 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 application to the devil. 1 Peter 5, chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5. He says, be sober-minded. Sober-minded. Souls I mentioned. Be watchful. Watch. Your adversary, the devil, prowls along like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. He's got a show of force. It's all it is. He, he's not a lion. If he was a lion, we are in Africa. You don't play along with lions. We've seen some videos where lions that were tamed one day just turn onto the people that's looking after them and they just devour them. It is an animal. He's got a wild spirit. And anything can trigger it. The devil will come with a show of force. 
But when you stand in the power of the Ruach HaKodesh, you can, you can uh, uh, stand up against every evil spirit in the name of Yahushua. We don't stand in our own power. We stand in the power of the Ruach HaKodesh. Hallelujah. He's a liar. He's a, he has a force, show of force. He says, Apostle, he said, Peter has persecuted for the faith of his mind. As the next verse shows, 1 Peter 5 verse 9. Listen to what Peter 5 verse 9 says. Resist him. Who? This is this roaring lion. Firm in your faith, knowing that the same kind of suffering are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. There are Christian brothers and sisters in non-Western parts of the world who are experiencing the roaring lion. Other places in China and these places, they experience a roaring lion. But we, as pride of your fist, as pride of Yafashua, who are known as your fist, we come up against the work of the evil force. And we bound it in the name of Yafashua. Hallelujah. Till tomorrow morning, if it's Yafas will, Maranatha. Yafashua is coming back again. Hallelujah.